my first day working with Sirocco, and he came in, looks like he had been shod, and trimmed, very typical farrier trim where they just trim flat to get that shoe to stay on. Mm -hmm. And so when I pick up the seat in the front, every foot is different. What I'm seeing here is uh, very, we had already trimmed the front, and I'm seeing some very, very flat, full, there's a lot of discoloration shine and hardness to the toe where they had trimmed this completely fat, flat. His heels compensated with that flat toe trim mm -hmm. by running, it's called running under and they move forward. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's just a pasture, what, what, what people call just a pasture trim then? Um, generally, but they, mm -hmm. you trim that flat to get a, um, shoe on. a shoe to stay properly if you don't have a really nice connected structure. So his hoof wall is, um, separated over here and here, he doesn't have a very thick hoof wall. Mm -hmm. So this farrier, to get the shoe to stay on, had to um, actually nail those holes past that uh, uh, white line here. Mm -hmm. So the white line comes around here, and right where those holes are, that's where the white line should be. Mm -hmm. So the laminar is severe, severely damaged from that. He probably had some pain from that. So he put the nails right up into the lamina. Into the lamina oh area. Oh, God. So, um, Poor boy. yeah, and then he's got a lot of um, extra sole mm -hmm. built over here to protect this area that was mm -hmm. separating and moving out, and yeah. that's forcing his frog to start turning mm -hmm. a little bit, mm -hmm. so his hoof is becoming twisted. Mm -hmm. There's no concavity at all. There's absolutely no concavity. Yeah. His bars are what I trimmed off here, mm -hmm. and they had, you can see it out over here. Mm -hmm. It should be, it moves out over here and then comes back up and around and then moves out over here. Yep. And it should be nice and tight yep. along here and grow up. Yep. It grew out and flattened mm -hmm. and damaged the sole area over mm -hmm. here too. Also forced the growth out. Yep. Okay. So he's got a similar... And, and because of because of that, he he had these flare areas here, and now you can see where this dip is. He's creating a crack because there's way too much toe pressure for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, his angles are really really low, extremely so in this one. You can see how long if you get from the side yeah. how long yeah. this toe and low it is. Yep. Yeah. So that toe breakover for him is probably creating a lot of strain on his leg. Mm -hmm during breakover process. Same, similar thing on this one, except it's a little more extreme because that toe is so much longer from the back of the heel all the way up here. It's just really way too long for this horse. You can also see the central sulcus starts yeah. a little dark, but it starts moving out this way. This whole yeah. heel area is being pressed to this side while it's trying to stay straight for this hoof. Mm -hmm. So this hoof is starting really to really twist, twist. twist. Yeah. So along with that long toe, he's got a twisted hoof. So that's really probably putting a lot of strain on that leg. Mm -hmm. So then we move to the hind, and we're seeing a couple of different things. Um, this foot, I started trimming already, but we haven't gotten to rounding it out like I did with the front. I put a Mustang roll on. So now you can see the, the hoof wall here. It's it's thick enough. It's yep. not super thick, but it's thick enough. And he still, or the farrier still, put those went nails and went into the lamina on the white line there. Hmm. And um, we've got a, a really long, long toe here, mm -hmm. again, um, on this foot. He's also, when you look at his balance on the solar plane, if you drop it down, I don't know if you can get the camera there. Yep. This heel is mm -hmm. a good fourth of yep. an inch higher than the other side. Yep. It's really imbalanced, yep. and with how flat this foot is, we can't we can't trim that down to balance very well because it's so flat that we're going to be gouging out the sole and creating yeah. a lot of pain for mm -hmm. this horse. So that'll take a good at least probably four months or so. Several trims, and, yeah. and it really depends on him how quick he's going to get rid of this sole mm -hmm. area mm -hmm. that we are going to be able to trim that down. Mm -hmm. So I will put on the Mustang roll on this one. I'll try to take a little bit down this time, but we're just going to really have to wait on this horse to, mm -hmm. to take down this side. So we're going to smooth out this, round out this area so he doesn't create damage, but we're probably not going to touch this side for several months mm -hmm. um, while we play catch up and try to rebalance this horse. Okay, so... After rounding out this hoof, we see how black it is. The pigment 
of the hoof wall and then we look at the sole and it's a little purple. There's a lot of bruising around the, the nail area where it has gone into the lamina area. Mm -hmm. So he's definitely... So um, he would have been, actually that would have been a very painful ride for him? Yeah, probably very dis uncomfortable. I mean, it's going to push and separate and I mean that's the and then it was the grow. white line is a structure. Those lamina are what hold the inner structure to the outer structure. So right. it's very, very delicate. And then what would what would happen to the lamina if they had kept the shoes on? It would have started growing around the nails. Yep, it's just to protect itself. You can see it hold on. You can see it up here at the toe, this yellowish yep. right behind the white line. Mm -hmm. And it disappears because that's where the nails are at, and then over mm -hmm. here it's separated. Mm -hmm. um, so it, what it would do is this yellow stuff would go row around and come mm -hmm. in and grow around and come in and grow around, mm -hmm. distorting this whole area. And then that would push the growth on this side out mm -hmm. further. So this would become more narrow, mm -hmm. and that would become wider and more twisted. And you commented um, when the camera was off that he is very twisted back here yep. on his leg. as So... This imbalance, this high side mm -hmm. on the inside is forcing his movement mm -hmm. off to the mm -hmm. side of the hoof, mm -hmm. and that's forcing this growth out. It's also forcing his foot, when he puts it down, to stand to facing roll. out. So his mm -hmm. hawk is actually um, placed Twisted. in. So he's got yeah. this cow ho hawk look when he shouldn't have that so yep. much. Yep. Now he's not putting his foot down, but you can see when he stands on it. Yep. Now he's a little bit better after that trim, so he's mm -hmm. a little bit down than he was mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Walk around here again, and you can see the placement of the hook facing outward a little bit, but especially on this side, the side we have not yet trimmed, you can see yeah. the um, the wear right here in the foot, because you see this point and how long it got over on this side, because it's forcing his movement off to the outside of the foot. Mm -hmm the lateral side here, so the the medial side is getting really long and it's forcing his whole leg structure to kind of huh. top up the last foot and he's got some damage, this area, some scar tissue here and then a lot of scar tissue and growth here. This should be the central fo focus of the frog. It's over way over to the side and it's very gooey, very damaged. I feel like this is a little bit of fungus down here. Mm -hmm. That we're going to need to treat, but it also feels like a little bit of fresh tissue growth mm -hmm. that was going to need to be treated. But the heel ball really doesn't exist much. It's underneath all this scar tissue. Mm -hmm. So we're also seeing this now. You can see the untrimmed version, this buildup of the bar area yep. on both sides. This is one of the best ones of all three or four feet we've mm -hmm. done. Same thing with the nail holes. Nail holes. And then again, now this is really hard to see with the damage back here, yeah. but he's he's quite high right here. up here too. Yep. Um, so we'll see what we can do. We'll cut a little bit of this down and then a little bit of this back, try to balance it out a bit, and then I'm sure Jen will start treating this with some yep. something nice. So what I noticed on the frogs when they were trimmed before is they trimmed only the part that stood up from the flatness they were trying to get for that shoe. Mm -hmm. And so he had a lot of, in his hind here, he had a lot of um, pockets and places for junk and fungus to grow. And mm -hmm. so we're cleaning that up quite a bit. He needs a break because this scar is area is hurting. He's got the scar up here. Yep. It's all hard and mm -hmm. and it's really thick around the the pastern joint here, mm -hmm. and the pastern's a lot thicker. And then we can see all this raw wound back here too. And then that just kind of something happened, maybe an infection or something got into his heel bulb here, and mm -hmm. this whole area is just.